sitting here in limbo. Nobody really knows what Now happens when you die. Some say it's an end. Sitting here in limbo. Others, Got a beginning. Some, to search my soul. some say you just limbo. keep going round and round sitting until you get it right. One night, four people were driven by destiny, overtaken by fate, and ended up living the life of Riley, Thomas Riley. Not that happy to see us. Now, with the help of this reluctant mortal, there are these people in town. There are these four very annoying, very demanding people. I'm sorry. I want your body. No, no, that's not funny. These four souls. With no idea how long I've waited for the chance, but well, you know, to stop. Are about to get a second chance. We're supposed to have you help finish things for us. It's all part of the grand scheme of things. Universal Pictures presents... We can do this! This is the... Isn't it wonderful? I mean, the way the pieces fit, you and us... From Ron Underwood, director of City Slickers... Promise me you're gonna live the life that I didn't get to live. I promise. A romantic comedy with heart. You see? Something good comes out of everything. Heart and souls. You're all my lover, you're my... One day, he woke up with everything he ever wanted. I don't believe this. What's the matter? There's $10 million in my checking account. I don't know where it came from. And wound up with a lot more than he bargained for. I'm sorry that the man is dead, but I did not kill Agajanian. I didn't even know he was there. The coroner says that Agajanian's head was crushed in with a tire iron. You and Reinhardt were using me to move the money out of the country. That's what this is all about, isn't it? I didn't kill Agajanian. I don't trust you. He killed my father. Why'd you choose my account to divert the money? I've got something you want. What choice do I have? Why don't you play it straight with me? Gregory Harrison, Leslie Hope. Trust me. Caught in the act. In the city of New Orleans, in a darker side of Dixie, away from the music and the lights, there's a new game in town. You'll be provided with a guide. Trackers and the weapons of your choice. I need to file a missing person report. The competitors are deadly. We pride ourselves in hunting only combat veterans, men who have the necessary skills to make our hunts more interesting. And they always win. You want to find your father? Get somebody who knows the city to show you around. Now, the opposition is about to get one last chance. What kind of a name is Chance? My mama took when? Our friend, Mr. Boudreaux. Silver Star, Marine Force Recon. He's obviously not someone we should underestimate. is an annoying little insect. And I want him stepped on hard. We need to get out of here now. Ladies first. What? These men will chase after you. Be mad at you for business or pleasure. Both. Look at it this way. You're gonna get to meet Elvis. Give it a rest, pal. Jean-Claude Van Damme is the hard target. You miss me. From internationally acclaimed action director, John Woo. How's it feel to be hunted? You tell me. Hard target. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. 
The world's friendliest little ghost is back this January for unbelievable fun in four fantastic cartoon collections. Now on video cassette for the first time ever and priced at just $9.98 each suggested retail. Casper's Outer Space. Hey, look! A flying saucer! Casper's Secret Powers. I'm Casper, genie of the lamp. Casper's Ghost Buddies. Look, a baby ghost. His name is something, and he's lost. Great. We'll keep him and help him grow up to be a big, bad ghost. Boy, that'll be fun. And Casper's Furry Friends. Say, you're a real friendly little fellow. How would you like to play with me? Four new classic Casper collections, each with four cartoons per video cassette. Collect them all. thinking about opening a savings account here. Good man, right this way. Well, thank you. Have you visited our bank before? Just one. Karen McCoy. You Karen McCoy? Was a real professional. Doing what? I robbed banks. J.T. Barker was not. Hey, are you who I think you are? <laughs> you are, I can't believe it. You're my hero. What do you want, my handbag? Well, I got a proposition for you. I know these people. What people? Well, people like Jack Schmidt. I don't work for bastards. Some people just won't respond unless you apply a little pressure. Hey, what happened to you? I got my boy. You want a job? I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want the bank. You can't break into a AAA-rated bank. You can. Baxter. Today, I'd really like to open a chicken account. When the alarm goes off, it takes the security guard six minutes to get from their base to the bank. What are we going to do? We're going to set off the alarm. Security's on its way. And two more. You know what to do. What's happening? Just do it. You're dead, McCoy! Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Kim Basinger. I didn't load the gun. Val Schilmer. Told me to buy it until it loaded. The real McCoy. Family jewels. It began like any other night. Hello? Until the phone went dead. Who is it? A stranger stepped out of the dark. And a reign of terror begins. He was inside the house with her. He is out there somewhere. He will go after someone else. I'm sorry, sir. There seems to be some problems. Jill. I'm here, Jill. Stranger calls back. New York, the world's most exciting city. The city's most glamorous hotel. Welcome to the Bradbury. Good morning, Mr. Ireland. And Doug Ireland runs it all. Close here. Duck. Duck. Oh, Duck. Oh, Doug. Duck. Come on. Doug. Mr. Doug. You're a beautiful kid. Enjoy your stay at the Bradbury. He can do anything. I got Miss Saigon. I got cats. I got the Grateful Dead in Nassau Coliseum. The dead? Why didn't you say so? He can handle anyone. Tell him Joey Pickle says hello. <laughs> Tell him that. But now his dream is about to come true. Yes. A hotel like none that has ever existed. Uh, how much? Three million dollars. We're in business, Papa. There's only one problem. Baby! He just fell in love. Dad. Yes. Ah! Now, here's a lovely flight. You meet Friday night. Whatever you want to see, whatever you want to buy. Jeannie in a suit. Just rub me and make a wish. I've got a boyfriend. She's a lovely girl, isn't she? Now, he has to make up his mind. Should he go for the gold? That's nice when everyone gets what they want. Yippee! Come on! Or go for the girl. What am I doing? Andy! Doug! 
from the director of The Addams Family. <laughs> You're some piece of work. Michael J. Fox, Gabrielle Anwar, for love or money. Fasten your seatbelt. Wait a minute. This country is founded by people who were in the aliens, man. George Washington, man, he was in a cult. And the cult was in the aliens, man. You didn't know that? No. Oh, man, they were way into that type of stuff, man. Getting air from there, man. It's no good. It was the last day of school. Uh, Miss Crawford, I was thinking that maybe you and I can get together over the summer. I mean, it'll be legal. I mean, we can make it. It was the first day of summer vacation. You guys know anything about a party here tonight? No, sir. <laughs> it was a time they will never forget. There's a new fiesta in the making as we speak. I thought he was cute. Oh, that's you thought he was cute? Do you realize when he graduated, we were like three years old? If only they could remember it. Okay. So you're not going to go to law school? What do you want to do then? I want to dance. You going to be quarterback next year? I don't know. I might not even play. You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. <laughs> Super dominant male in a 50s greaser uniform. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> the 50s were boring. The 60s rocked. The 70s, oh my God, they obviously suck. Dazed and confused, see it with a bud. Behind every good man, there's a woman. And that woman was Martha Washington, man. And every day George would come home, she'd have a big, fat bowl waiting for him, man, when he'd come in the door, man. She was a hip, a hip, hip lady, man. From the creative imaginations of Tim Burton and Steven Spielberg comes the most hilarious canine comedy series ever unleashed on home video. Pretty doggies, pretty doggies. It's Family Dog. That's sweet. Isn't that sweet, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> this outrageous animated series features the offbeat, wacky adventures of the craziest dog ever to tickle your funny bone. Look what he's doing! Stupid dog. Price to own, each cassette features two side-splitting episodes. Guaranteed to keep your whole family howling with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> There's Eye on the Sparrow and Hot Dog at the Zoo. No dogs allowed. Come here, you. Enemy Dog and Show Dog. Whoa, Mom, he's wrecking the whole place. Go, Dog. Family Dog Goes Homeless and Dog on Girl is Mine. Hey, Mom, Dog's gone blind. He's been like that since your father took him for a walk this morning. Family Dog. I want to Six hilarious offbeat adventures available on three collectible video cassettes. Collect the entire series. Available wherever video cassettes are sold. In this city. You've taken illegal possession of some government property, a journal, I believe. I want it. I want it right now. Beneath this building. They have an A6 security clearance. Lies a dormant force. There was no trace of his body at the wreckage. So powerful. Did you see that? So terrifying. A form of life so advanced it has no physical body. So alien. I don't know, maybe there's some kind of command for it. That once awakened, it cannot be controlled by anything on Earth. Awaken it to control it! I'm not going to be any part of this. This ship was here before mankind. I'm more powerful than anything that we ever dreamed of. The president can't even do anything about it. What the hell do you expect me to do? 
Sooner or later, it's gonna come down. You two just stepped over a line. Come on, tell me what you want! Tell me! Let's talk to us! Tell us the truth. It's out of control because of you, God Challenger. Ah! Nobody is taking dates. It's a bunch of guys going to a boxing match. That's it. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I know your friends. <laughs> they have the hormones of high school kids. I'll be home early, okay? Promise. <laughs> what do you say, fight fans? A night out on the town. Yeah. A heavy traffic jam. I'll tell you something, I'm not going to miss this fight. <laughs> and one wrong turn. We've circled this block about 300 times. Yeah, enough of this scenic route. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh, he's been shot. They're coming after me. You gotta get me out of here! Back off! We can't just sit here. Come on! They got guns, John. You broke rule number one. Do not steal from me. Oh, boys, rule number two? No witnesses. Come on! Go, go, go! Who the hell are we? What are we gonna do? What do you think of the neighborhood? The cops are gonna be here any second. The cops are not coming. What's up? You punks crazy or something, man? Chill out, man. We're just looking for some citizens. Don't move. Don't whisper. Don't even breathe. These guys don't give up. Oh, Frank, is this your wife, huh? I get a wife and a little girl, and I will get back to them tonight. Let's show these punks what we got. You better believe it. You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid. Hey! You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid. Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding Jr., Dennis Leary. No, Frank, after I kill you, I think I'm going to pay a little visit on that wife of yours. Ah! Judgment Night. You coming? Hello, Billy. Hello, Aaron. How are you? I'm fine. What did you have for lunch today? I had filet of sole. I told you a thousand times, you only take food from the fat kids, and you never take a kid's dessert. When are you going to teach me marbles? I keep telling you. All the important stuff can't be taught, OK? You just have to learn. Sullivan will be going away for a while. I don't want to go. Don't worry, OK? I'm going to earn some money and get you back. How? Well, I'm not sure yet. I know Lester will have some ideas. What the hell are you doing? The car, eh? How do you like the car? It's colossal. <laughs> Stupendous. Whose is it? What do you mean, whose is it? It's mine. How'd you get it? Oh, you know. You better watch yourself. For Aaron Kurlander, the Great Depression was a time of great discovery. What do you think? Looks wonderful. You want a job? What do I get? Why don't you put something on? Get on my good side. I have something on. Got an idea. Might be a little risky. Up for it. Well. The two partners, us against you. I'll put up five and Billy will put up five against your ten. upside down. I was just wondering if you'd like to dance. The trick is coming out on top. King of 
the hill. In the ring of steel, the world's oldest sport has just become the world's deadliest spectacle. Some enter by choice. Some enter by fate. Alex, glad you can make it. Lucky to meet my club manager. This is Tanya. Let me show you the rest of my club. We hope to persuade Alex to join our little fighting style this evening. Fighting or fencing? Oh, fencing. That's such an artificial distinction. Don't you agree? It obscures the original purpose of the sport. This is the Ring of Steel. Now there are a few rules. Number one, I decide who fights who and when. Number two, there is no fighting outside the Ring of Steel ever. You will blast in the ring. We shall see. Number three, inside the Ring of Steel, there are no rules. I'm going to kill them both. I wouldn't worry about Alex. I'm going to take really good care of him. He's still twice the man you are. Alex, this is your chance to be the best. Alex, here she is. You can have her. No! Alex, the man should always face his destiny. Joe Don Baker, Carol Alt, and introducing Robert Chapin, Ring of Steel. Your favorite characters from the enormously successful feature films and the hilarious animated series are back on video cassette in six brand new heart pounding adventures available on three video cassettes. It's no joke! Duck and Jigawatts! Price to own, each cassette features two episodes of all new exciting fun. Plus, each episode contains a live action segment with Christopher Lloyd. Captain Emmett L. Brown here, stranded somewhere in the Caribbean, searching for Jamaica. There's St. Louis Blues and Mac the Black. In the name of King Charles II of Spain, I place you under arrest. Ah! Solar Sailors and Brave Lord and the Demon Monstrox. In reality land, my mini muscles are so very much pumped up. Retired and Family Vacation. Emmett, where are we? England, 1367. These time-hopping cartoons are filled with adventure. After them! So fire up the DeLorean. Hold on to your flux capacitors. Enjoy Marty McFly, Doc Brown, and all their friends in more exciting new episodes of the animated series that has won the hearts of millions. Back to the future. It's here today and available on video cassette. And don't miss out on those cassettes in this series. Collect them all. Available wherever video cassettes are sold. Bible's back on video cassette. More Rip Snorton animated adventures of America's favorite mouse. Bible's American Tales. He's the bravest, roughest, toughest, sharpshooting cowboy ever to ride across the range. Join Bible and his lovable pal Tiger in six brand new exciting adventures available on three video cassettes. There's a mouse known as Zorowitz and Aunt Sophie's Visit. It is so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Mail Order Mayhem and Law and Disorder. Miss me, fish brains. Bible the Lonesome Ranger and Belle the Cats. Here in your round town, fellas. Get that thing off me! These adorable collectible videos are perfect for any child's video library. I know what I want. It's time to take a stand. So saddle up for fun as America's biggest little cartoon hero hits the trail to adventure. Giddy up, Tiger! Fievel's American Tales. Six new episodes on three video cassettes at a collectible price. And don't forget the first three releases in this exciting series. Collect them all. Available wherever video cassettes are sold.